All right, gang. ADS-B Software Defined Radio SDR Battle Royale number two is about to start. Let me show you what the box looks like. But if you want the full details, uh, I'll put a video up here that will take you to the first one that has all of the specific details on how I set this up. The box is set up same as it was for the prior test. Details up in this video. But for now, as you can see, we have the new Elec NESDR Smart V4 over there with a 1090 filter from ADS-B Exchange. And the same SDR over here, we're comparing heads up the same exact software defined radio with and without a filter to see which does better. The winner of this will go back and battle it out with the winner of the prior test. And then I have at least one more set of SDRs to test that are different than what we have tested so far. Then we'll have the third battle royale on that one and see who wins the crown as to which is the best software defined radio to use for receiving ADSB signals. I was expecting some results and the results we got are actually in line with what I expected, but I did not expect them to be as drastic as they are. How much of a difference does a 1090 filter really make on an ADSB receiver? Look at the numbers. And uh, test one got 78 and a half million packets and test two got 42.7 million packets, making test one 83.89% more effective than test two. So which is which? And there it is. The new Elec NESDR Smart V4 with the 1090 filter from ADSB Exchange is far superior to it by itself. That's the results, that's what we got. The next test, I'm gonna take the winner of this and the winner of the last test and pin them against each other and see what we get. As always, thanks to my patrons on Patreon for their ongoing support. The skydiving season is about to start and it can't come too quick for me. Uh, I am itching for a jump and I'm itching to play radio in the sky. I hope to catch you guys on there soon but in the meantime I'm going to finish this series and get you some more results on what you should be looking at in terms of uh, setting up your own ADSB receiver at least as of the date that I published this right new stuff comes out all the time and when newer SDRs come out and I'm able to test them I will certainly put them through the same lineup but in the meantime I'm just testing what I have what's available to me right now and we'll catch you guys on the next one, 7-3. Yeah.